Good morning, church. Good morning. Good morning, church. Good morning. Amen. Uh, where do we stand wherever we are? A very good morning to all those who are joining us online. Why don't we take a moment and just share the link with somebody you've, who's been on your mind. Just share it with them, maybe on your WhatsApp status, in groups. It's such a privilege to be in the house of the Lord this morning. I just want to start off by reading uh, Isaiah 25 verse 1. Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you and praise your name. For in perfect faithfulness, you have done wonderful things, things planned long ago. And then if we go down in verse 8, it says, The sovereign Lord will wipe away the tears from all faces. He will remove his people's disgrace from all the earth. The Lord has spoken. Amen. It's such a beautiful promise. And um, why don't we just hold on to this promise this morning and keep this attitude that I'm going to ex exalt him and I'm going to praise his name because he's been perfectly faithful to me. He's wiped away all my tears and he's going to remove all of the people's disgrace from all the earth. So let's just uh, close our eyes and just take a moment to thank him for all that he's done in the past and for all that he's going to do in the future that he's planned long, long ago before we were even formed in our mother's womb, plans to prosper us and not to harm us. So thank you, Lord Jesus. Let's just lift, lift him up in this room. His presence has filled this place. And let's just thank him. Let's just sing our praises to him.
rising up from the earth. Joining with the songs of heaven, and we exalt Thee, oh Lord. We exalt Thee. We exalt. Lift Your name. to announce, proclaim, and declare, and so we will do that, declare His praise.
Yes, I will listen. Christ, oh God, and I will live you, I will live and I will follow you all the days of my life. For you are who you say you are. Because you are God, you are Lord of Lords, you are Lord of Lords, you are King of Kings, you are mighty God, Lord of everything, you're a man you well, you're the great I am. You're the Prince of Peace, who is the Lamb. You're the living God, you're my saving grace. You will reign forever. You are ancient of days. You are Alpha, Omega, beginning and end. You're my Savior, Messiah, Redeemer, and friend. You are Lord of Lords, King of Kings. You are mighty, almighty, everything. You're Emmanuel. You're the great I am. You're the Prince of Peace. Who is the Lamb? You're the living God. You're my saving grace. You will reign forever. Ancient of days. You are Alpha, Omega, beginning and end. You're my Savior. Bless the Lord at all times. We will bless the Lord at all times. Amen. We will bless Him in the rain, bless Him in all seasons and all weathers. No matter what comes our way, oh God, we choose to bless Your name, God, because You are who You say You are, God. We bless Your name, Lord. Oh, just shut ourselves up. Stand strong, raise an anthem of praise with his word in our hearts. 
with a shield of faith. Victorious army marching, marching forward and declaring hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lamb.
bless your name and we're gonna sing in the middle of the song louder and louder you're gonna hear our praises roar and up from the ashes let hope arise cause death is defeated our king Some of us are going through storms and we are facing those mountains, facing those rivers, those oceans. We choose to sing. Like the song says, I will bless the Lord. Can we say that together? I will bless the Lord at all times. I will sing His praise at all times. Sing like never before. like never before, God. All kinds of emotions, God. Up and down, mountaintop, valleys. We will sing it, God. We'll take your word. Your word we have hidden in our hearts. That we might not sin against you in unbelief. And, oh God, we will sing like never before. Sing like never before Oh my soul I worship Oh yes Lord we lay ourselves down and worship and Sing like never before Oh my soul I worship your whole sing it one more time Sing like never before. Yes, I will sing like never before. Oh, my soul, I worship your holy name. Bless you, Lord. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul.
thank you for your love. Thank you for everlasting arms that continue to draw us, oh God. Whatever we go through, oh God, we can always run to you, Lord. Because you run towards us. And this morning, God, you are pursuing us with your love. You are reaching out with your love and your grace and your mercy. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, 
Oh yes, he's breaking down every wall. Oh, there's no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me, oh Lord. Oh, there's no wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. There's no shadow. Oh, there's no shadow you won't.
He's standing off your love today. He's standing off your grace today, God. He's standing off you. We reach out and we receive your love. Your love strengthens us, strengthening us with your love, with your presence today. And we stand amazed. trembling in awe of your wonder the kings and their kingdoms are standing amazed we stand amazed oh heaven is trembling in awe of your wonder Father, we just thank you for your presence. Father, thank you for what is happening in our lives. 
as we are in your presence. Thank you for touching our hearts, our lives. Here in your presence. Thank you, Lord. Just want to request us to please take our seats. You may be seated, please. We're going to partake of the Lord's table together. If you are a believer, you love the Lord Jesus, you're welcome to partake with us this morning. Most of you would have brought these elements with you when you walked in. In case you didn't, please raise your hand where you are and our ushers will come to you and, and will serve you. Just please raise your hand wherever you are so that ashes can come to you and serve you. Then we're going to pray and partake of these elements together. The Apostle Paul wrote, he said, this cup of blessing that we drink, is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? And this bread that we break, is it not the communion of the body of Christ? So what the Apostle Paul is teaching us is that when we drink this cup, we are drinking a cup of blessing. But it's us expressing that we are communing or participating or partaking in the blood of Christ. That means Everything the blood of Jesus does for me, I am receiving it. And it's partaking in the body of Christ. Everything that the body of Christ gives to me, I am partaking of it. Now, God set a precedent, a, a type, what we refer to as a type in the Old Testament. This was on the very first Passover night when in Exodus 12, and he told the people, he, through Moses, you take a lamb without blemish, you cut the Passover lamb, and you eat it. You apply the blood, and you eat the lamb. Very similar to what we are about to do. That was a type, this is the reality. That was the shadow. This is the real thing. So when they partook of the, blood, of the Passover lamb, they applied the blood, they ate of the lamb. It was symbolic. But what happens? When they partook of the, of the lamb, the blood protected them. The destroyer could, could not touch them. God turned everything around. They worked for 40 years. They had nothing. But in one night, everything was transferred to them. It was almost like 40 years of payment was made in one night. The wealth of Egypt was transferred to them in one night. God did it. And then when they journeyed through the wilderness, think about this. The Bible says for 40 years, there was not one weak or sickly person among them. Psalm 105 verse 37. There was not one weak or sickly person among 3 million people estimated. That's good healthcare service not one weak or sickly person among them 
and Nehemiah says their feet didn't swell and their shoes didn't wear off that's good shoes 40 years walking through the wilderness their feet didn't swell their shoes didn't wear off in other words god took supernatural care of his people as they came under his covenant that is symbolic you and i have the reality amen that's a type this is the reality So I want us to participate in this with great expectation. If that God could do that for them, what are you expecting God to do for you today? Let's pray. Father, we sanctify the simple elements of bread and juice. Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. And we receive healing and wholeness and deliverance and victory and protection and blessing and increase and supernatural work in our lives through the Passover lamb Jesus Christ. that each one of us experience this. The Lord Jesus said, "Take eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me." Let's partake of the bread together, please. The Lord Jesus said this is my blood of the new covenant that is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Let's partake of the cup together knowing what the blood of the Passover lamb makes available for us. Let's partake of the cup together please. And father just as what you did for your people in the old testament do for us and more today may each one of us walk in the full provision of the passover lamb in our lives jesus christ We thank you Father in Jesus name. And everyone said Amen. Amen.